Welcome to another episode of Ask Firefox. It's really easy to get distracted nowadays. No, actually, it's even harder to stay focused. Fire for f sake! You know what? Let's just get right into it. First question. I have so many tabs open all the time. How do I get out of this tab manian devil's vortex? Aha! Guilty as charged. I'm with you. It's an easy rabbit hole to go down. Whether you're researching something or comparison shopping, you just open tab after tab after tab after tab. There are some nifty tools that can help with just this. When you have dozens of tabs open related to one particular thing, it's slowing down your device and distracting you from staying focused. Well, fret not, Alice. There's a way out of this tabby wonderland yet. You can try some nifty add-ons or extensions, which are basically plugins for your browser that can add useful features. In this case, Tree Style Tab is an add-on that consolidates and organizes. You can drag and drop all those different tabs under a parent branch, and poof! All of a sudden, you've got organized clusters that you can minimize and expand as you're hopping around, shopping for the best pair of crutes, and which socks to go with it. Because I guess socks with sandals is in now? Dads everywhere are rejoicing. If that's not enough to keep you focused on the task at hand, try putting those tabs away. But I spent so much time finding all these sweet socks. Oh, I get it. It's a rare pair that looks just like the ones great grandma knitted for you on your sixth birthday. Close that and say goodbye to your portal to great granny memories for good. No! Grandma lives on. Tab Stash saves all your tabs as bookmarks so you can come right back whenever you like. Phew, and it's saved for good. So once those socks are worn down, get right back to it and buy it again. Yeah! Plus, if you're a Firefox Sync user, it'll automatically stash those tabs to your other devices, just in case you're on the go and need a replacement pair to meet you wherever you are. Hey, maybe you don't want all those bookmarks. Just put it all in one spot for a hot second so you can get back to it when you get a chance. For something like that, there's one tab. It turns all your tabs into a list of links on a single page. Once again, saving your device from drowning in tabs and helping you keep your eye on the prize. Maybe get on the crudes first, then the socks. Who's next? Seeing as the internet is the most distracting place in the universe, got any productivity hacks? Yeah, that can be a toughie. Whatever it is you're trying to get done, it's not exactly a blank canvas you're working with. There's a lot of info to swallow out there, a ton of ads, and all sorts of sites trying to grab your attention. But you gotta tell all that junk to just get way back in the trunk. Go on, get! First of all, take some good notes. Instead of having all these different websites open or just sending a ton of links all over the place, make clippings, take screenshots, save and share. Giazzo and Evernote Web Clipper are great tools for just that. Just a few clicks away from the perfect internet scrapbook for your obsession with skateboarding pugs. It's okay, we all have our things. If you just digest some cold hard facts or need a step-by-step -step recipe on how to make instant mac and cheese, but for some reason, you've gotta scroll past 20 pages of different mac and cheeses that look way better than you know yours is gonna be, check out another extension called Tranquility Reader. This is a great one that helps pull out just solid reading material. Go away, flashy banners, pop-ups, and all those ADD-inducing things that pull my eyes away like you're trying to hypnotize me. Tranquility Reader strips it all down to create a quiet, calm space. You can even customize font size and colors to your liking. Then you can make that perfect mac and cheese in your most peaceful, focused chef state of mind. Next! The internet is both my workspace and my play space. Any tips for staying off my fave sites while I pretend to work? I got you, boo. I've got a couple vices of my own. Hey, that's for me to know. I I'm just saying we're on the same page. <laughs> what do I do? I just block it. Bam! See? Blocked. Try something like Block Site that does what I just did. You tell it what to block, and you can even tell it for how long or certain times of day. Like when you're supposed to be at work, not tweeting. Maybe you want something a little less aggressive. Tomato Clock is a great one to keep you focused. You can set tomato intervals, basically breaking down a work session into multiple blocks of time and getting little breaks in between. It tracks your progress, encouraging you to stay focused for that segment of time and earn that Twitter break. Let's not forget one of our biggest distractions is probably this little guy. Well, one thing you just can't beat is some good old self-control. If all these extensions aren't keeping you off when you don't want to be, silence your phone. Do not disturb. It's an actual setting. Try it. Better yet, just put your phone right out of reach. You'd be surprised how hard it is to get out of your chair sometimes.
All right, there you have it. How to stay focused when you're online. Want to know more? Hit us up on IG and Twitter. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. Until next time, I'm Shanae and I gotta go. Oh, I didn't mean to throw you. Are you okay?